and the scroll release. Like you in your hand, I don't want to hurt you. Over there. Yeah, come on. <laughs> What's up, bee fishing family? I just got the call. My man David's gonna hook me up with some crawfish to go in the mega bass pond. Apparently, there are two types of crawfish: the kind you buy to eat, and then the kind you put in the pond. So the kind you put in the pond are called peelers. So we're gonna get a bunch of pounds, about 100 pounds of crawfish, gonna take them up to the pond and release them. Hopefully that'll give the bass another type of forage. So we're gonna go to hold of David and see what we got here. See you on a minute. Those look pretty big. I know, that's what we're saying, they were pretty big. Yeah, once you bust them, you'll be like, oh, these ain't weird. Okay, <laughs> big ones must have made it to the top. The big ones can cook. <laughs> There's probably some decent size crawfish. Yeah, yeah that one looks pretty big there too. <laughs> huh. There's a couple, man. Dig them out and cook them. <laughs> I saw that I could cook a few of them. Everybody's asking me, are you going to eat them? I said, no, you're going to the pond. There you go. I told <laughs> Hold that Bubba, but he had a thousand I'll, I'll pounds. take you. I was telling him. <laughs> the easiest thing to do is, is just throw them out, run them over. You're going to dump them out? Uh huh. Just like it. If you wanted to, cut your bag open. Mm -hmm. and they'll climb out just, unless you oh. want to just cut them and just dump. I always just dump them right on the edge. I'll just dump them way out in the middle. Yeah, just dump them in the water or on the land? Just right on the edge. Okay. Yeah. In the grass, they'll find their way to the water. Okay. And, and the, leave this open any? Do I need to leave that open any? Where will you go? Uh, take me about 45 minutes to get there. At most, just maybe crack it. Okay. So. All right, everybody. Made it to the pond. I've got the crawfish and get ready to set them out and release them. Uh, if there's some big ones in there, I might take them home to eat. I'm about to switch to a head cam. I've never wore a GoPro on the head before. Hopefully it'll give you a better view of what I'm doing. So hang on and we'll get started. All right, here we go. I'm trying to figure out where is the best place to put them. Should have bought a weed whacker. Took care of some of this grass. Maybe we'll go right there. So supposedly 100 pounds in here. <coughs> Good spot right there is a little baby bass right there. About three inches long, falling by a couple of rim. So I've got them here in the shade. Alright, there's the three sacks of crawls. Look like they're moving around pretty good. We're gonna cut the sack and let them go and see if they forge into the pond. Damaging him. He got the claws out. Oh, that's kind of all the way cut. There we go. And the scrawl release. Oh, yeah, that's the last one. Yeah, you're a nice one. There's probably gonna be some dead ones up in here. Let go of each other. There you go. Go free. Go free. Yeah, you look like supper. Oh, you're definitely a supper right there. Oh my goodness, you're a monster boo. I'm gonna give you a little assist up here. Get all these fellas out. Stand there, I'm with you. Let go. We've been a beat. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if y'all can see the mass quandary of crawls. It is incredible. There's all the crawls in here. Now, what are you doing over here? Hmm? 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 Over there. Let's dig out a couple more big ones. You look like a male. Uh, you're definitely an eater. You look like you're an eater. Yeah, I don't want to hurt you. Get over there. Yeah, come on. That's how you grab my foot. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Crawley? Here you are. Come over here. 
There, got you now. I need you from behind. Let go of that stick. Ladies and gentlemen, can you see that? That is some wild looking stuff right there. You can get up on and watch and get all defensive. Hello. Hello. Let's see if I can get up close to them on the water without stepping on any of these fellas. Yeah, I'm still fighting. A little weird in the water to change colors. Look how orange that one looks. A little fish checking them out. Alright, so I've given the crawfish a few minutes to get settled, to get where they need to be. Uh, looks like that's the carnage of what didn't survive. So those are gonna go with me. Do a little bait catch trapping. I'm still gonna see if I have the rest of them out here. I can get them in the water. Looks like some still moving barely here and there. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and get them out in the water. Oh yeah, that one lived. There you go, buddy. Get all right, clean up the carnage. I'm gonna get the truck trap and go set it out here. See if we can catch some turtles. Keeping our eyes out for snakes. I don't like the snakes. I like to kill the snakes. I hope that we're gonna get rid of some of these turtles. Oh, that's good. Alright, so I think we should set it first. Put that down. Put that up. Put that latch in there. I don't know how much y'all can see. stinky stuff right here. Well, I don't want to float. I want to sort of stay up in here. Next to the edge. I don't know if y'all can see the turtle trap yet. Some of these crawls in here maybe stink up the dink up. I'm gonna hook this on here like that. And then let's see. So Got some stinky traps. Hopefully, the turtles will swim in here and get the bait. It's partially out of the water, it's partially in the water. So, I have some around out there. You see those little bassies over there, a little brown. All right, let's make our way back out to the truck. Put the ice chest in. Put this in here. Lock it up and head it out. And take my gloves off. All right, secure. Let's secure. See some geese there. The geese think are waiting for the feeder to go off so they can eat some food. Shoo, 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 shoo. See if I can get them out here. Well, apparently they're not afraid of me. All right, let's go wrap it up. Cut this puppy off. Peace. Thanks for watching. Be fishing family. We'll see you next time. Let go, the little fella. Let go of the little fella. Let go of the little fella. That is some wild looking stuff right there.